Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surabhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 2nd of April. Indian Prime Minister tells Chief Ministers to focus on testing, isolation and quarantine. Pakistani court commutes death sentence of key accused in American journalist killing. And peace negotiating team for intra-Afghan talks draws international reactions. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday held a video conference with all chief ministers to discuss ways to check the spread of coronavirus in the country. COVID-19 has infected over 2,000 people and claimed 50 lives across India amid a nationwide lockdown imposed to break the chain of transmission of the disease. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday held a video conference with chief ministers of all provinces in wake of the rising coronavirus cases in the country. He told them that in next few weeks, testing, tracing, isolation and quarantine should remain focus areas and that the centre and states must have a common strategy to ensure staggered movement of people after the nationwide lockdown ends. India is on a 21-day nationwide lockdown till April 14 to break the chain of transmission of the disease. Coronavirus ne hamari aastha, hamari parampara, hamare viswas, hamari vichardara, in sabhi par hamla bola hai. Is liye hume apni aastha, hamare pant, hamari vichardara ko bachane ke liye सबसे पहले कोरोना वायरस को परास्त करना पड़ेगा आज आवश्यकता है कि सभी मत पंथ विचारधारा के लोग एकजुट होकर कोरोना महामारी को पराजित करें Meanwhile, Indian Health Ministry in its daily briefing on coronavirus situation in the country said that at least 328 fresh cases have been reported from across the country in the last 24 hours. COVID-19 has infected over 2,000 people and claimed 50 lives across India. In from Pakistan, a Pakistani court on Thursday commuted the death sentences of the main person accused in the 2002 kidnapping and murder of American journalist Daniel Pearl and acquitted three other co-accused in the matter. Pakistan's Sindh High Court on Thursday commuted the death sentences of the main person accused in the 2002 kidnapping and murder of Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl and acquitted three other co-accused in the matter. In the year 2002, an anti-terrorism court had sentenced to death British-born Ahmed Omar Sayed Sheikh in life term to the other three for the kidnapping and killing of 38-year-old Pearl, who was researching a story on religious extremists in Pakistan's Karachi. While arguing the case, the lawyers for the appellants said the prosecution had miserably failed to prove its case and prosecution witnesses were mostly policemen. The court commuted death sentence of Sheikh to seven years in prison, while the other three convicts, Fahad Naseem, Salman Saqib and Sheikh Adil, who were earlier handed life sentences, were set free by the court. Since prime accused Sheikh has been in prison for the past 18 years, his seven-year sentence will be counted from the time served, the court said. More news from Pakistan. The number of coronavirus cases climbed to over 2,250 in Pakistan on Thursday, while 32 people have died so far. As lockdown is imposed in most parts of the country, Pakistanis have expressed concerns over inflation at the time of such crisis. The number of coronavirus cases in Pakistan climbed to over 2,250 on Thursday. 
So far, 32 people have died from the disease since the first COVID-19 death in country was reported on March 18th. Most parts of Pakistan continue to be under lockdown despite Prime Minister Imran Khan's opposition to it, claiming that the country was too poor to sustain a lockdown or curfew. The government has been urging people to not visit mosques for prayers, a tradition in Muslim-majority country, and instead pray at homes. The government of Pakistan is doing the right thing for human beings, for human beings, for human beings. So, therefore, I will say that it is okay. What is it that when the world will be filled with the world, and the world will be filled with the world, we will save it from it. Because if we save it from the corona, we will save it from the corona. तो पाकिस्तान जो सेहतमंद होगा। While some are welcoming the prevention measures by authorities, some also expressed concerns over the rising inflation during lockdown under the rule of cash-strapped Imran Khan government. महंगाई कर रही है, गरीब आदमी कहाँ जाएगा? रोज का खाने का माने अल्लाह दस दिन से बाजार बंद है। आप ये देखें, दूध महंगा, आटा आटा महंगा हुआ हुआ है, चीनी, ये खाने पीने की एशिया कम करें, इस तरह क्या फायदा? Pakistanis have lately been under a tough squeeze on their household budgets with the highest inflation in the January over a decade. In Israel, Afghanistan, a total of 239 positive cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in Afghanistan as of Thursday, including four service members of the foreign forces. Afghanistan registered two new positive cases of COVID-19 in capital Kabul on Wednesday night, bringing the total number of positive cases to 239. According to the Ministry of Public Health, earlier on Wednesday, 41 new positive cases of coronavirus had been reported in western Herat province, the epicenter of the virus. The Public Health Ministry spokesman Wahidullah Mayar at a press conference on Wednesday confirmed that four of those with positive cases are service members of the foreign forces. So far, four COVID-19 infected patients have died in Afghanistan since the outbreak of the disease in February. To contain the spread of the disease, the government has imposed 21-day curfew in capital Kabul, the western Herat, Farah and the neighboring Nimroz along the border with Iran. International community has hailed Afghan government's recent announcement of formation of a 21-member peace negotiating team chosen to participate in intra-Afghan talks with the Taliban. Welcoming Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani's decision to form a team for intra-Afghan negotiations that will include the Taliban, India said this is a positive step for the process of reconciliation in the country. India's foreign ministry in a statement issued on Wednesday said, We view the formation of a team as a positive step which would lead to a peaceful and stable future for Afghanistan free from the scorch of externally sponsored terrorism. The 21-member team was announced by Afghan government on March 27, following which Ghani's political rival Abdullah Abdullah as well as some other politicians who wished that it would lead the country to intra-Afghan negotiations. Pakistan's foreign ministry also welcomed the move and said, Pakistan believes it is an important step reflecting commitment of the leadership to according priority to peace and reconciliation in Afghanistan. Afghanistan's Central Asia neighbor Uzbekistan, the United Nations also welcomed the agreement. Apart from hailing the move, the European Union also called on the Taliban to reduce the violence. Bangladesh has reported six coronavirus deaths and over 50 positive cases so far. More than a week of lockdown to contain the spread of the infection has left poor scrambling for food and other essential across the densely populated country. Bangladesh's nationwide lockdown has left much of the impoverished population of capital Dhaka without work or proper meals. Amid the crisis, hundreds of people on Wednesday gathered outside a food distribution truck sponsored by several wealthy individuals to collect rations. The underprivileged, now totally dependent on such donations, said there is no one from the authorities to look after them and their only hope are the rich who are distributing food. Uh, 
to contain the transmission of the deadly coronavirus, Bangladesh imposed a 10-day country-wide shutdown on March 26 and urged its people to maintain physical distancing and stay indoors. The government on Wednesday extended the shutdown to April 11, citing the number of confirmed cases in the country. <laughs> The country of around 165 million people has so far confirmed 54 coronavirus cases and 6 deaths. The patients who died due to the infection were from Dhaka, Narayal, Shariatpur and Rajshahi. They showed symptoms like fever, runny nose and cough. Himalayan nation Nepal is on a nationwide lockdown until April 7th to prevent further spread of COVID-19 as the positive cases in the country rose to five. Amid the lockdown, tourists from Australia and New Zealand who were stuck left Nepal on chartered flight. Nepal has so far confirmed five cases of novel coronavirus and has a total of 87 suspected COVID-19 patients that are being kept in the isolation wards of various hospitals across the country. The spread of COVID-19 in the Himalayan nation Nepal that was first reported in the country on January 24 has been relatively modest to date compared to other South Asian countries. Nepal is on a nationwide lockdown until April 7 as part of efforts to contain the spread of coronavirus in the country. Meanwhile, amid the lockdown, a chartered plane evacuated 257 Australians and New Zealanders, including seven children from Nepal, on Wednesday. Tourists were stuck in Nepal after the government extended its lockdown. There are less cases in Nepal at present um, than, than Australia, uh, but we have to recognise too that um, uh, the capacity of Nepal's health system, if there were an outbreak, um, uh, would be a very difficult situation for the government. So the last thing that they want is um, tourists everywhere, which um, could just make the job a little bit harder. So Over the past few days, chartered planes have been evacuating stranded foreign nationals from the Himalayan nation. Devout Hindus across India observe the religious festival of Ram Navmi, the birth anniversary of Lord Rama, by staying indoors and praying for the end of coronavirus amid a nationwide lockdown imposed to contain its spread. Devotees across India observe the Hindu festival of Ram Navmi, the birth anniversary of Lord Ram, by staying indoors and praying amid a nationwide lockdown imposed to contain the spread of coronavirus. In northern Ayodhya city, regarded as the birthplace of Lord Ram, shops remained closed and police stood guard outside temples as most religious places in the country remained shut to avoid gatherings. यह इतना बड़ा महामारी है छुआछूत की बीमारी है अगर हम इसी देश में रहते हैं इसी सरकार में रहते हैं तो सरकार के आदेश को पालन करना चाहिए हर नागरिक को However at some places people were seen paying obeisances from a distance in few numbers outside temples The festival lacked the usual fervor but devotees expressed Lord Ram resides in their hearts and they will pray to eradicate the demon of coronavirus. देश में इतना बड़ा कोरोना नाम का राक्षस फैला हुआ है उस राक्षस का अंत करने के लिए भगवान से प्रार्थना करने के लिए हम लोग सब यहां आए हैं परंतु मतलब क्या है सब मंदिरों की दरवाजे तो बंद है परंतु क्या तो मन में है राम जी तो उनका हम दर्शन बाहर से ही कर लिए हैं It is believed that Lord Ram was born to eradicate evil from the earth his saga is depicted in the Ramayana scripture. On the occasion, devotees break their nine-day-long fast after offering special prayers to Lord Ram and also Goddess Durga. They believe that fasting will secure them a place in heaven. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline. And follow us on Twitter at S Asia Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.